we go. Hello everyone, my name is Rotoro. Welcome back to Canada, the true north, strong and free. This is the second leg of the Voyagers Cup semifinal, our featured match today, Vancouver versus Toronto. We take a 2-0 lead into the home legs. We've got two away goals in our back pocket, looking pretty darn solid. If only I could say the same about our league form. But first, as we always do, here's the squad. Is it compliant? Are we treating Americans like internationals and remaining competitive? With nine international spots, we have six non-Canadian players. So yes, indeed, we are compliant. And why has that number risen? Well, because our prized signing of the offseason has come through. Yes, indeed, as you can see, we lost one nothing to Seattle. Really should not have. Lost 2-1 to RSL. They battered us down and we couldn't hold on to that 1-0 lead. But the important thing is, is we got some minutes for Michel Matzi, our brand new striker. And he is as advertised, 4.5 out of the gate. He's an 18-year-old, 4.5, even probably 5 potential, I'd say. He's already making 12 points there. He's making DP money, but he is worth it. Oh, golly. He is worth it. Absolutely, 100%, without a shadow of a doubt, worth the investment. I am very, very hopeful he will be able to do for us what he did for his Peruvian team and what he is currently doing for the Peruvian U-20s. So, hopefully he'll be able to make it happen. Other things to note from around the squad since our last episode, some great news about Spencer Franzo. He has recovered from his broken leg. His potential ability has just gone down massively. So again, his career has just been knocked back, arguably and irreparably. Uh, but he is currently with the Canadian B squad although at the uh, Gold Cup. That's right, Canada B at the Gold Cup. And right now, they are currently sitting on three points with a win. A 2-1 win over Guatemala. Very nice. They then lost 3-1 to Honduras, because of course, Honduras. Uh, then they finish off with a match against Jamaica. Honduras and Guatemala drew one all, so it's all in Canada's hands now. They need to win. It's a draw won't do it because they'll be out on goal differential. They have to defeat Jamaica to be top two. Looking at all groups, though, they currently sit with three points. So even a draw will get them through as one of the best third place teams. So a draw, kind of important right now. But that's still pretty good for them. Still pretty good for the B side to be able to get out of the group stage, albeit by the slimmest, uh, by the slimmest of margins. So, uh, good job, Canada B-side, and what a B-side it is, too. I mean, there's a lot. We'll show you the general view here. Uh, there's a lot of academy kids and our lone kids playing, and they're still getting the job done, which is fantastic. To be fair, Jordan Hamilton probably leading the line there, so there you go. And Spencer Franzo doing his job. Michael Trasso from QPR, so it's a very, it's, effectively, it's a U23 side, which is amazing that they're doing this well, so very high hopes now. For Canada in the future, great experience for these kids. Speaking of international experience, the North American Champions League, CONCACAF Champions League, the group stages have been announced. If we go to the NACL, oh, it's going to be a good one. Because, looking at these groups as they've been drawn, we've been put in a group with New York City FC and Panama's San Francisco. That is a winnable group. That is a very, very winnable group. And I'm quite happy about our chances in it. Other groups, Caledonia, Marathon, and San Jose. That's going to be a gimme group for San Jose. Alajalense, Santos Laguna, defending champions. Santos Laguna and Tepete. I would say Santos, though Alajalense could make an upset there. Don't count them out. Comunicaciones, LA Firpo, and Orlando. That should be Orlando's, but don't count out Comunicaciones, especially now that Orlando's lost Kyle Laren to that trade with FC Dallas. Comunicaciones could make life difficult for them. Municipal, Saprisa, and Toluca. I'll say Toluca, but Saprisa is going to make it difficult for them. Out of a Unido, Monterey and Waterhouse, Monterey in a walk. Our group, I'm picking us. Atlas, Isidro Metapan, and Real Esteli. It should be Atlas, but Isidro Metapan, I got a feeling about them. And Herediano, Motagua, and Portland again. Portland in a walk, though Herediano should make it difficult for them. In theory. So we can make these difficult. One tiny bit of squad unhappiness. Mr. Craig O'Hanlon has finally lost it about not getting as many minutes as he should. And to be fair, he's playing behind Morales and Froze, so I can understand. But he wants out. He thinks he should be playing first-team minutes. He probably should be. But uh, right now, he hasn't shown up. He's not doing quite what I want him to do. 
He's only really performing when he goes into uh, reserve matches. So uh, O'Hanlon will probably leave as soon as I can find a buyer. And right now, nobody is <laughs> nobody's biting. So it's going to be a while, I think, before we move him. But uh, I have hope. I have hope something good will happen. All right, that's the status of the squad. Let's get into today's featured match, the second leg of the Voyager's Cup semifinals. Toronto got pretty badly uh, spanked, but they have everybody back from all their injuries and suspensions, so I won't be able to uh, to waltz my way through it like I did last time. I do have some fitness and card issues to worry about, though. I think we should be okay. Uh, is Finley? Finley's not quite back. Piet and Munoz will stay. Uh, Tybert sat out last game, so he's coming back in for Bunbury. That's a given. Uh, he will actually swap in for Camber. Morales, Alderson Smith, I think that's all I want to do. Caleb Clark. Let's put Lavery in. He's got to show up at some point, right? 6.91, 5 goals. Those Avery's is 8, is currently best on the squad. We'll play a Lavery, and I'll probably end up regretting it if uh, Zavries turns out to be the go-to guy. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Manny. Hmm. Still not doing so well as Manny. I think we'll leave it at that. All right, that's our lineup. All we have to do is... Oh, I'm short a sub. Who am I short? That looks like seven. One, two, three, four, five. What am I missing here? That looks like seven subs to me. Am I missing something here? Who is not selected? Uh, game. You might want to just, you know, pay attention here. Alderson, Froze, Bunbury, and Lavery. Alright, whatever. You're not paying attention. I'm not going to pay attention. Let's just move on. And away we go. Well, all our subs look like they're there. Maybe they don't like the gray. Queen Strong, Josie Altidorf, it's a good idea. I agree. Horacio Moreno, though. Oh, no. We're fine. He's a backup. They got nothing. We're good. And no, uh... No Osorio starting, no Aparicio starting, and no Javinko anywhere. I'm very happy. Take control of this tie. They're motivated. That's what I like to see in front of the BC Place crowd. Oh, it's looking good. Vancouver in their white, Toronto in their red. 2-0 Vancouver after the first leg, and those are away goals. Toronto has to score three. I don't like their chances. No Paul Tobin for this one. He's still dealing with a minor knock, as is Findlay. Nothing too serious. Week and a half out. They'll recover. They'll be fine. Lofty back pass there from Gasparotti. I want to keep those on the deck. Regardless, Carducci take his time and then thump one forward. Finds Munoz. What is the defender doing that high up? Piet out wide to Tybert. There's the cross. Bustos. Oh, it is Bustos. Oh, <laughs> amazing stuff. From oh, it's oh, come on. Handball. Come on, how bad was this handball? I want to see this. All right, Tybert with the cross. How did he spot that boost? Oh, okay, yeah, I see. I see that. That's a pretty blatant hand of God goal there by Bustos. That would have pretty much sunk Toronto right off the bat. So, uh, good catch there. So, uh, interesting the uh, AR saw that through the maze of bodies. Perhaps the ref had a better view. Anyway, Piet, Morales, Matze, the young Peruvian superstar. There's Bustos. This time, Bone throws himself in front of it and keeps it out. That's a great save by Adrian Bone as Bustos is looking for that goal that will surely seal the deal for Vancouver. O'Brien trying to look from distance. Didn't miss by much there. Morales, free kick, high and wide. Not gonna happen. We've got a knock there. Matsy, oh, lovely. We'll run him as long as we can. Lavery may end up coming in sooner than later. Bustos. Piet. Escosi. 
Hybert. Piet. Oh! It had Venom. Just didn't have eyes for goal. Sheru goes over the top. That's easy for Carducci to get to. 15 minutes in. It's looking all Vancouver, which is as it should. Piet. Way high up is Piet. But he stopped with a horrible ball. And really, that was as much defending as it was just standing still and letting the ball hit you. But it worked. Back on the ball is Morales. He finds Matsi. Posts up, looks for help. Leaves for Morales. Tybert. Oh, that's a lovely ball from Tybert. It had a little bit of curl. He had to put some work on it to get it into the corner. Lovely stuff from Tybert. 3 0 Vancouver on aggregate. And there it is. Oh, it had some work to do, didn't it? But he's got the goal. That surely must settle it. How does Toronto come back from that? They need four goals. I don't see them scoring four goals in an hour. Who clad with Marino? Piet? That sounds like Alderson coming into the match to me. Piet's had a good game, though. We'll leave him on for as long as we can before we bring Alderson in. Tybert. Morales. Viscosi. Morales. Oh, fine save by Bone. Munoz with the corner. It was outside looking for Matze there. Not the best place when it's Antana. Closed down by Piet, but that was a little more uh, worrying than it needed to be. Viscosi to Tybert. Back to Viscosi. Tybert. Morales blocked. Three minutes of stoppage time added on. Vancouver looking good value for this lead. Not letting up. Again, that... I, I don't agree with your placement there, Munoz. Just go into the six-yard box. All you gotta do. Cooper. Bida. Oh, come on now. I guess it was a rather cynical kick, but still. Won't be a clean sheet. Still, they've got to find three more goals in 45 minutes. I don't fancy their chances of doing it. Come on, guys. Why did I say I was pleased? I meant to say shut up. But, uh, hey, they, they, they look happy with themselves, so okay then. Let's roll with it. And away we go! Pretty safe opening, that's pretty good. Piet, out wide to Viscosi. I may have done the math wrong there. Yeah, Van Toronto only need two goals, my mistake. They have uh, 45 minutes to find two goals. That would give them 3 1 on the leg. Three away goals beats my two away goals. And Toronto would win. That's a little more concerning. Munoz is not having a good game. I think that's my cue to uh, consider a substitution. But so far, as long as we make any rash decisions and we just hold the line. Gentlemen, that's okay, good. Daniel Henry is there. As long as we hold the line, we should be alright. The Voyager's Cup, of course, away goals do count. 
as was in, as we all famously remember Montreal won two years ago with that a last death last ditch away goal in Vancouver. All right, yeah, Piet is gassed and Munoz looks like he's not ready to play. I think we do a double sub here and go. F well, maybe not. Oh god. All right, I think we have to bring Piet off now. But we have to think about making a sub of Munoz if he does not improve his game. Morales. Tybert. There's the cross. Good by Matsi. Morgan. Tybert having a great game. 8.6. Oh, that's a bad giveaway by Daniel Henry. A very bad giveaway, but he recovers. The ball to Osorio is in the back of the net. That was a catastrophic giveaway by Daniil Henry. I think we're going to go full defense. That was just horrible. And what are we going to do? We're going to waste time. Yeah, we're just going to kill this game off. Kill it off. Oh, Munoz, you're killing me here. All right. He's coming off the field. You're not playing well, Munoz. You have to come off the field. The problem is I don't have a suitable D-mid to flip into the... Oh, I say that now. In a pinch, Tybert can play there. And I do believe we are in what qualifies as a pinch. Uh, Bunbury can now play on the right. And Morales is looking gassed, so we'll bring on... Let's bring on Lavery. And no. Froze it is. Make it happen, Kian's froze. Get some fresher legs, let's see if that helps. All we need to do is hold this score line. Ten minutes. Bunbury can't get to that ball. Klein moves in. Sheru. That goal from Carducci was not his best. Delgado can't get past the defensive markers. Sheru to Bita. That shot's not finding the net. Shots are 12 apiece. Two of Toronto's have found the back of the net. Bustos with a knock. Not a serious one, though. Sorio. And Morgan will clear that into touch. Three minutes of stoppage time. Three minutes to hold on. Toronto to find the winning goal. Vancouver to try and close it out. It is a very veritable case of next goal wins. That ball to the top is poorly dealt with by Delgado, and Matsy chases him down. Aparicio replaces Bita in the at the death here. Is that enough? Bone with the goal kick snuffed out by Alderson. Bryce Alderson. Rare minutes these days for Alderson. He's doing well with what he's been given. Tybert. Froze. Bustos. Matsy saved by Bone. He was offside anyway. And will Vancouver escape with a win? They certainly looked a lot, uh, a lot more confident until that first goal came in. Bunbury holding up, wins the free kick. Good game management here. And Tybert plays it short. Just killing time here. And that's it! Whew! It was not pretty. And it was a losing result at home. But on aggregate, they agree, well most of them do anyway, that we got through, we are into the final. Against Montreal. Oh, they only drew FC Edmonton. Edmonton made, made, they found their spine in that final game. 
But it doesn't matter, it's Vancouver, Montreal, Je me souviens, in that final match with the Rogers Cup. Ooh, Jamaica wins 2-1 over Canada. That should be in Canada. That goes, and they do. Canada get out of the group stage. Very nice indeed. We are through the final. We're considered one of the favorites. Well, we got to win. We've got to win. That's not a... That's not easy. But next time on Strong and Free, we will go to that final against Montreal. Can we get our second Voyagers Cup in a row? Oh, wouldn't that be nice? But we gotta get there first. My name is Rotero. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell all your friends about these videos on YouTube. And don't forget to join us in Twitch, twitch.tv slash Rotero, where Twitch chat comments on all these episodes as they're recorded live. It appears more than a few of them were cheering for Toronto. Some hoping Jamal Wood may have run out from the stands and put on a TFC kit. Well, that, in that case, I might have won. But you never know. The point is we did, and we're on to face Montreal. Once again, my name is Arturo. I'm from Canada, the true north, strong and free. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. All right. That